Section 1.6 expression, expressions. Now today we will learn how to simplify rational expressions, how to uh, do four operations on rational expressions, and uh, we will learn how to use the uh, least common denominator, and we will learn how to simplify complex fractions. Okay, first uh, let's see what we mean by rational expression. Rational expression is just a fraction, so fraction is kesir, and here the numerator and denominator are polynomials. Uh, let's see some examples here. So look at here, this is uh, the numerator is a polynomial and the denominator is a polynomial, so we have all polynomials. And uh, when we say polynomials, we might have also some numbers as well, like, you know, this one, for example. This might be number also. So it's constant polynomial. We will call this constant polynomial. Now, some remarks on rational expressions. The first one is uh, the denominator of a rational expression cannot be zero. Uh, this means when we use this expression here, we mean here we assume x is not zero. So if you are doing calculation with this, you assume or we assume x squared minus 4 is not zero. So we are excluding uh, those x values, uh, making the denominator equal to zero. Uh, when the denominator of a rational expression is zero, we say that the expression is undefined. So if you end up with one over zero, uh, this is undefined. Undefined means uh, there is no meaning, okay, there is no meaning for this. It doesn't mean anything. It's not a number, it's nothing, so it's undefined. Mathematically, it doesn't tell us any uh, value. And uh, for example here, this expression is, uh, is an algebraic expression, a racial expression, and uh, for different values of x, it will give some value, like 1, 1 plus 1 over 1. So, for example, but for x equal to 0, we will end up with uh, 0 plus 1 over 0, which is 1 over 0, which is undefined. So, it's not a number. So, we say this rational expression is undefined for x equal to 0. Let's look at this example. So, find all values of x such that this is undefined. So what makes it undefined? Definitely, if we have zero here, then it will be undefined. If this is zero, then it's undefined. So in this case, the only option is we set equal to zero. I mean, x minus two equal to zero, denominator equal to zero, and then we get x equal to two. So it means the rational expression is undefined when x equal to 2. Okay, uh, let's see uh, how to simplify a rational expression and what is uh, what does simplifying mean. First, uh, we will see rational expression in lowest terms. So this is important. Now, if the greatest common uh, factor of a of the numerator and the denominator of a fraction is 1, then the rational expression is said to be in lowest terms. Now, here is uh, one example, like 7 over four, 5 is in lowest terms, uh, because the greatest common factor of 7 and 5 is 1, so it cannot be further simplified. But look at uh, this one, 14 over 10, it's not in lowest terms, because we have common factor here, 2. The greatest common factor is 2, so it can be simplified further. So uh, you can write here by using the cancellation law. You can say this is equal to 2 times 7. This is 2 times 5. And we can simplify and get 7 over 5. So this is in lowest terms. and It, it cannot be further simplified. So basically, simplify an expression, rational expression means to write it in lowest terms. Now let's solve this problem. 
uh, simplify 30 over 66 or uh, we can say write 30 over 66 in lowest terms what we will do is just to factor them and uh, you can do prime factorization uh, it's the uh, most uh, it's, it's the best one you can see all the prime factors and all factors together and then you don't miss any of them so you see all the common factors and by using the cancellation law we get 5 over 11. Now uh, we will now we will do simplifying rational expressions uh, like the, the fractions uh, having the polynomials. Now first again we want to remind you the cancellation law it's uh, you know again it's ac over bc is equal to ab as you see that you can cancel them now the same thing works okay this is for the numbers but also it's it works for the polynomials now look at this one it says simplify the rational expression x to the fourth plus x cubed over x cubed plus x squared now the first thing we have to do is we have to factor out the greatest common factor okay i mean factor this one so you will get x cubed as the greatest common factor because this is x and x is common and uh, four and three so three then we take the least uh, power so x cubed and the rest will be x plus one and we will do the same thing for the denominator okay here is the factoring of it so x square x x is uh, common and we take the smallest power of x which is x squared and then we write the rest so it's x plus one now as you see uh, there are some cancellations here x plus one x plus one they make one uh, and here you can write this one like x cubed over x squared which will be just x Now let's look at this example here. <clears throat> In this example, we will again we will try to find a common factor if possible. So one way is okay. The usual way is of course uh, try to factor both numerator and the denominator. Okay, let's start from this part. Uh, 25 minus x, uh, x squared. So as you see, this is 5 squared minus x squared. So you can use 5 plus x times 5 minus x. So this is a special factoring formula a squared minus b so we have this one then <clears throat> uh, for the other one <clears throat> we will try okay remember how to factor this we write here x x and here we have to put something some numbers here their product is equal to plus 10 but also okay we have to Okay, if I say plus plus, you know, this uh, checking the middle term, we are checking the middle term if they are compatible with the middle term. So as you see, it's plus 7x and plus 7x is not what we want. So we change it, so we make this one. So how about changing them to negative? Their multiplication again, plus uh, <clears throat> positive 10. So if you do it, <clears throat> we get the middle term so we got the middle term so it means uh, these are the correct factors here <clears throat> after finding them we write the factoring of the denominator now and from here we will try to get uh, some cancellation now one thing is okay let's be careful here this one and this one uh, they look very similar but they are not same so one thing is we have to pay attention to this 5 minus x is indeed negative 1 times x minus 5 i mean when you multiply you can uh, <clears throat> see that and as a okay <clears throat> you can write this one as 5 minus x as uh, minus 1 times x minus 5 so then you will see uh, the common factors and you cancel them out and then at the end you get negative 5 plus x 
over x minus 2 and you can take this mint negative uh, to the fraction bar here in front so then this is the simplified version of it the simplified version of form of the fraction okay please stop the video and try to do it by yourself now <clears throat> okay let me do it uh, this from here as I see uh, Uh, 4 and 8, what is the common, greatest common factor for them? It's 4. And what is the common uh, factor for x cubed and x squared? So I can say it's x squared. Okay, so this is the greatest common factor of both. So this is 4x squared and the rest is x. That's 8x squared, so it has to be plus 2. Okay, let's do the same thing. X is a common factor here. For two, I don't see any common thing here. So X is just only <clears throat> one factor, the only factor. And then by using the cancellation law, I can write this is 4X squared over X, which gives us 4X. So after this. Now, let's look at Another example. Now this is uh, 2x minus uh, 14 over 7 minus x. Okay, let's try to factor them. So how? The first thing is, you know, in the numerator, it's 2. 2 is the common factor of 2 and 14 both. So you can take this 2 out, factor it out. And then <clears throat> the next thing is we have x minus 7 and 7 minus x, as you see. And we will use the previous argument. You see, 7 minus x is negative x minus 7. So when you write this way, then you can use simplification or the cancellation law. Okay, th this here, this is true for all a minus b squared. So a minus b is equal to all the time minus 1 times uh, B minus A. So it's always true. <clears throat> and after this cancellation, we get minus 2. Okay, let's see this uh, try and check. Okay, look at this try and check. Here this P squared minus 1 over 2 minus 2P. Two so please stop the video and try to do it by yourself. And I will do it here. So this one here, you can see it as like p squared minus 1 squared, which is p minus 1 times p plus 1. And here you can see this is 2 times 2 is common here. So you can say 2 is 1 minus p. And by using this fact here, I can write the, the numerator as this. Sorry, this is p minus 1. Now, <clears throat> there are common terms here, common factors, and we have uh, p plus 1 over 2. Okay, you can take this minus to the front, so you can have this. The answer is negative p plus plus 1 over 2. Okay, let's look at uh, multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Now, let's remember how to multiply the fractions. Uh, as you see, uh, we multiply the denominators and we multiply the uh, numerators. And uh, the good thing is if you have uh, some common factors here, so you can try to cancel them because canceling here or there, it's not important. They are the same. So the result is same. Okay, we will see uh, an example of it. Okay, let's try to simplify this product here. <clears throat> First, of course, we will try to factor all numerators and denominators. Okay, look at here. This is, uh, you can try to do it. And this is obviously <coughs> a squared 
plus 2ab plus b squared type uh, sum. Okay, trinomial. So this is indeed it is the expansion of a plus b squared. So here in this case we have x, we have 3 squared, and we have, if we check the middle term, 2 times 3x. Yeah, this is in this form, 2ab. So this is indeed <coughs> the square of x plus 3. Now, when we look at here, we have only two terms, and uh, we look for the common factors here. Common factor x, x, y, y. So 3, no, 3 and 1, uh, there is no common. So x, we take the minimum power of x, which is uh, 1. y is a common, so x, y is a common factor. So we take the greatest common factor out x, y times x plus 3. And this one here is 3, of course, the con greatest common factor. So we write it this way. Then after this, <clears throat> uh, we bring them together. We can write them together. Or, I mean, what I mean together is this. You can write them this way. You can put them together. And then you can do the cancellations. And this one, this one, they cancel out. This one, this one, and this. X and Y, X and Y. And at the end, when you, when everything cancel each other, we don't get zero, okay? We get one. Because this, after the cancellation, we, we have always one, not zero. Okay, so, uh, this is sometimes students do zero. No, this is not zero. Uh, after each cancellation, we got one. 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1, the answer is 1. Division of fractions. Uh, again, a reminder, so how do you uh, divide the fractions? You multiply, you flip the second one and then multiply it with the first one, then the, you get the result. Okay, we will do the same thing here. Uh, this is, we will do it for the polynomials again. Uh, okay, what we can do here is <clears throat> we can write the second one. Yeah, we can flip the second one and write it as a product. And then then we will look for the factors. Uh, we will try to factor this. Okay, what can it be? So it's P, P, and um, negative. Okay, how about this? Uh, negative 4 plus 3. But if we do the cross multiplication, then this, this will definitely not give negative 4p. So just this doesn't work. So how about something, uh, some numbers whose uh, sum is negative 4. So if you do this, yes, when you add them, you will get the middle term. Yes, this is p minus 6, p, p plus 2. And you can do the same thing. P is a common factor. Either, uh, 2 is a common factor. <clears throat> you can write the factors this way. Now, the only thing left is this one. So it's obviously this P and 2 plus 1 and plus 2 and plus 1. If you try 2P, P, and when you add 3P, so yes, this is true. So this is the factoring of this part. After all factorization, uh, we will get the terms, the common factors, and then we cancel them out. One, one. Okay, you can write eight as two times four, so it will be easy to see uh, what is left. Okay, P and P, they cancel out. And we end up with 4 times p to the fifth divided by p plus 1. Okay, now please stop the video and try to do it by yourself. And um, I will do it now. Okay, this is uh, division. So in division, you know, the rule, the rule is uh, flip the second fraction and write it as a uh, product. So write this thing as a multiplication. Now we will try to factor all these uh, expressions. Now let's start from uh, this one here. So uh, 
Uh, we don't have many options here because we have five here. So five will give us either plus five or uh, plus five uh, plus one and WW, or we will have the other option WW and negative five, negative one. So if you do this, uh, check the middle term. If we can get the middle term, so this is plus W, so it doesn't match. So this is not uh, the, the true option here. So let's look at here, negative five and negative one. So it's negative five W and negative five, negative W. So if we get the middle term, middle term is okay. So in this case, this is the correct factoring. In this case, we write here W minus 5, W minus 1. Now, when you look at here, this will be W squared minus 2 squared. So you can take, you can see it as the difference of squares. And we have this formula for it. A squared minus B squared is always equal to A minus B times A plus B. By using it, we get not, uh, it's W minus 2 times W plus 2. So in this case, we have W minus two times W plus two. Okay, let's, okay, you can view this one as one squared also, and we will have the same thing here. And look at here, look at this one. <clears throat> After some try, okay, you can try to do it by yourself. So this is W plus 8, W plus 2. You can check the middle term. These are the correct options here. They make uh, plus positive 16, and this uh, 8 plus 2, it will be 10. So there's no problem. <clears throat> now let's try to see if there's, a, uh, if there's a term to be canceled so x w minus 1 w minus 1 that's one thing and the second thing is w plus 1 w plus 1 and nothing else so the answer will be w minus 5 times w plus 8 divided by w minus 2 times w plus 1 this is the most simplified version of the answer <clears throat> Now, we will do some addition and subtraction, and let's remember the addition uh, of the fractions with common denominators. So common denominator means the denominators are same. They, if they are same, you will simply add the numerators, and if the denominators are same in subtraction, you basically subtract the numerators. Okay, let's see this in here. So it says perform the following operations and simplify. So first, do the operation, do the addition, and then if possible, simplify. Okay, here you add the numbers, you add the numerator. Sorry, this is add the numerator because these are same. So these are same. This is good. Then you add them, you get this numerator, and these are same. So we write the same denominator and we will try to see if if we can factor it so as you see the denominator now is equal to okay this was x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 now this here if you try to factor it i mean if you can see this is the square of x plus 1 and then you can cancel one of them so it will be x plus 1 here one so it will be x plus one now let's look at the other one so we subtract okay since we have these two denominators common same so we just simply subtract the numerators when we subtract we get this one and what is, is there any factoring of this you can view this one as x squared minus one squared so it go get it gives us this factors here and then Cancel, so we get x minus 1. Now, let's look at this problem here. 
it says uh, adding or subtraction rational expressions with factors that are additive inverses. So additive inverses means uh, one is the negative of each uh, the other. So it's when you look at here, look at the denominator here and look at the denominator. Uh, the first thing you may you may notice is these are the uh, inverses of each other. So inverse, the additive inverse of each other, what does this mean? 3 minus 2p is indeed negative 2p minus 3. So in this case, instead of 2p minus 3, you can write, okay, sorry, this instead of 3 minus 2p, you can write here negative 3p minus, uh, negative 2p minus 3. And now we have this rule here. The rule is if you have A or minus B, then you can take this minus here to the front. So I take this, I move this negative, negative sign to here. So it will be minus. So now we have common factors. And after this, we can add the uh, we can add the numerators, I mean subtract, sorry. But be careful when subtracting it, this is the main, okay, this is very, very, very important. Most students do a mistake here. They don't put the parentheses, you have to put parentheses. Otherwise, if you don't put the parentheses, you will end up with this. And this will give you a wrong answer. This is not correct. The correct one is this with the parentheses here, okay? Then you remove the parentheses, so you got negative 6 plus 7, and then you will add the like terms, so plus 7 plus 5, so it will be 12p minus, uh, minus 5 divided by 2p minus 3. You can try to do the factoring here, but as you see, there is no common factor between them, and there is no common factor. So uh, this is the uh, this is the best we can get from here. This is the most simple or simplified form of the fraction or the rational expression. Okay, now please stop the video and try to do it by yourself. And let's compare the answers then. Perform the indicated operations and simplify. So since they are common, so we will add the numerators. If you add the numerator, you can directly get this expression in the numerator and this expression in the denominator. And when you try to do this, you see this is 2 squared, this is 2 squared, this is 2 times 2m. You can directly uh, okay, see this is in this form. And from here, this is indeed a plus b squared. And if you match A and B here, and then you will see it's M plus 2 squared divided by M plus 2, and uh, which will give us M plus 2. Now, when we look at here, uh, the interesting thing is the, the, the denominators are uh, additive inverses. So, as we see, 2 minus n is equal to uh, negative n minus 2. You can write it this way, or you can say n minus 2 is equal to minus 2 minus n. Okay, so these are the additive inverses of each other. So you can use this one or this one. It depends on you. But I will use this one, and I will put it here. So I can write this one as n over negative n minus 2. And then uh, this becomes, OK, the, it becomes this, the sum of these two polynomials. And here, this negative here, I can take it to here and erase. And then now, as you see, uh, these are common. Uh, denominators. So I can combine them. So 
from here you can get m squared minus uh, 4n plus 4 divided by n minus 2. And again, with the, okay, you can try to factor this. When you try to factor this, you'll get this. This is uh, some kind of special uh, factoring formula. Uh, this is uh, a, so it's this type. This is the square of the difference. So you will see it's n minus 2 squared divided by n minus 2. And then after the cancellation, you will see the, the answer is n minus 2 here. I hope you got the correct answer too. Now, when adding uh, the rational expressions, what was the, uh, the least, how to use the least common denominator? Now, we use, when adding and subtraction, uh, rational expression with different denominators, we use the least common denominator, or we call we can also call it least common multiple of the denominators. Now, for example, look at this uh, 1 over 6 and 1 over 4. So the least common denominator for 6 and 4, like 1 over 6 and 1 over 4, so it means the least common multiple of the denominator 6 and 4 is 12. So it means when you try to add them, you can multiply this one to get 12 and this one 3. So you will get 2 over 12 plus 3 over 12. So you get 5 over 12. And uh, we will learn how to find uh, the systematic way of finding the prime factor uh, to find the, uh, the least common denominator. Now, first you write the prime factors of these, the denominators, and then you will find the prime factors with the greatest exponents, and then you write them as the product. The least common denominator will be the product of all prime factors with the greatest exponents. Okay, now we will see it in the example. Now, uh, evaluate this by finding the LCD, the, the least common denominator using uh, prime factorization. Now we have these numbers 72, 48, and 10. We try to find the least common multiple of them. So how do you find the least common multiple of them? You write the factorization of them and then you look for, uh, this time we don't look for common uh, divisor. We just write, okay, we look at here two, two, two common. We pick the biggest one. 3, 3, it doesn't have to be here, so we take the biggest one. So we are taking the biggest powers of all primes. All primes in here. All primes. With the biggest, all primes with their powers. With the biggest power. So when you multiply them, you get 720. So 720 is the meeting point for all. So it means you multiply with this 10, and we will multiply with something. So we will get 720, and you will get like 72 times 10. You can get 70, 72. So 720, sorry. Okay, so you will try to do, you will try to find, multiply these numbers with some numbers so that we will get 720 here. So obviously, it should be 10 here. Obviously, it should be 72. So what about this? How do you, how can you get this one? If you know uh, the number to be reached is 720, you can do this. 72 divided by 48, so it will be 15. So then, after doing this, you make all of them, like you multiply multiply with the appropriate numbers to get 720. After you get, you add and subtract <clears throat> because they are common now. And then you get <clears throat> 38 over 720. And then after, you know, you can divide by two, so it will be 19 divided by two, 360. So this is the most simplified form of uh, the result. <clears throat> Okay, let's do 
the same thing for uh, these fractions. These fractions, they don't have numbers, but we have some uh, polynomials here. So our goal is to find the least common denominator for those. So it means we, are, we will try to get the least common multiple of them. So we write their factorizations. Now, all each factor is like prime here. So you treat them like primes. So how many, OK, all different factors. You, you take all different factors. Now, uh, 3 is one of them. And x plus 3 is one of them. But if there's a common one, you pick the biggest power. So you have to take this one. So this turns out to be our uh, least common denominator. So all different factors with highest power. If there's common, you take the highest power. So this x minus 3, x minus 3, x minus 3, I'm taking x minus 3 squared. OK, please stop the video and try to do it by yourself. Now let's uh, use prime factorization to find uh, the least common denominator of these polynomials. I mean, these rational expressions. Uh, look at here, that's 2x minus 4. So you can write this one as 2 times x minus 2 and x squared minus 4 as x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now this one turns out to be, if you can, OK. This is a special uh, formula product. So, uh, this is coming from special formula. When you check it, you will see it's x minus 2 squared. Now let's try to write the LCD. So LCD is what? Okay. Now you take all different primes. So we have 2, we have x minus 2, and we have x plus 2. OK, then if there's a common one, we check the powers also. We check the biggest power. And if they also have power, we, we write the power. So we take the highest power, x minus 2. So this is the least common denominator. Now let's do this problem. Uh, we will subtract these two polynomial, these two rational expressions, and uh, they don't have same or common denominator. So we have different denominators. In this case, first you have to find the least common denominator. So in finding the least common denominator, you write the, uh, you factor them, you factor them. When you factor them, you write the different factors here with the biggest powers. OK, we hear the biggest power of x minus 2 is this one. And x plus 2 is only here. So we take this LCD as x plus 2 times x minus 2 squared. So when you, if you try to write now this one as x minus 2 times x minus 2, or x plus 2, and this one as 1 over x minus 2 squared, now, we will try to find some factors here. We will multiply with some factors or with some terms so that they will come to LCD. Now, uh, what is missing in LCD here? So x minus 1, x plus 2. Like here, you can view this one as x plus 2, x minus 2, and then x minus 2. And what is missing here, what is missing? It is obviously x minus 2 is missing, like the second x minus 2 is missing. So you multiply this with x minus 2. And uh, for this one, x minus 2, x minus 2 is here. What is missing is x plus 2. So you put here x plus 2 and try to multiply them with these uh, uh, binomials. OK, here you will see this in the other steps. Now we are trying to write each rational expression as an equivalent fraction using LCD as the denominator. So you want to get this one from here. So what you do here is 
you multiply with extra and when you do it you have to multiply also the numerator and do the same thing for this like what is missing here to get to here is x plus 2 is missing so you multiply and divide by x plus 2 and then you change both you change both uh, fractions to uh, the fractions with the common denominator so then we can write the common denominator uh, the fractions in common denominators then we subtract them when you subtract them you will see it's negative 4 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 2 squared so since they are same these are same then you can subtract them again okay please put this in parentheses when when you do this subtraction okay now please stop the video and try to do it by yourself and let's compare our solutions here uh, x squared minus 9 is x minus 3 times x plus 3 and you can check also this one it's obviously x plus 3 squared now LCD turns out to be all different factors with highest powers so x minus 3 is only one appears only uh, appears one time once it's uh, only one but here it's uh, x plus 3 appears twice and uh, the biggest power of x plus 3 is 2 so this is the LCD so we are trying to get this one uh, I mean, to try to make this one like this so what should we do in this case okay I'll write this way so it's better you write this way first now what should I multiply to get LCD what is missing x minus 3 is there x plus x plus 3 is there but not square so in order to make this square so I have to multiply them with x plus 3 and now what is missing here is obviously x minus 3 and I multiply them and I will get x plus 3 and here's this one x plus x minus 3 divided by uh, we have the common denominator now it will be x plus 3 squared times x minus 3 so after doing this like when it is plus you don't have to do the parentheses okay no need but if it's minus definitely do it so this is 2x over x plus 3 times a squared times x minus 3 so this is the final answer Now we have other types of rational expressions. So one of them is a, are called complex fractions. Now, when a sum or, dif uh, or a difference of fractional expressions appears as a numerator or a denominator of quotient, the quotient is called re uh, complex rational expression. So, for example, like this one. Now it's a rational expression, but the numerator is also rational expression and the denominator is also rational expression. Now, how will we simplify this? Uh, the first thing to do is do this one first and do this one later and then write them as, okay, try to write them this form. So write it as a fraction, write it as a fraction. Then you can do this A over B divided by C over D and as a over b times d over c flip this one and multiply now this is already done so no need to deal with this now i will try to find what is this as a fraction how can i write it this way okay let's see first okay first how do you add these x plus one minus six over x so you can write this one as a fraction so how do you write as a fraction you can write it as x plus one divided by one so the next thing is you should do them same so how can you do it just multiply it with x so multiply with x so 
So when you multiply with x, this one, you get x times x plus 1. And since we have the common denominator with x, x, we have minus 6. Or you can do this, like 1 times this and 1 times this, you will get this one. So you combine them. Now you got this one. Now, be right. We change this one to a year. This is a fraction, and this is a fraction. What's next? The next thing is to flip this one and multiply with the top fraction. Now, do we see any cancellation? Yes. And do we see this has factors? Or is it, can we have factors of it? Can we find? Let's try. Like if you... Uh, Okay, if you try to do it, you will see the factorization of this will be x plus 3 times x minus 2. This x, x will cancel out, and then x plus 3 will cancel out, and you will end up with all 1s and only x minus 2. So the answer will be x minus 2. Now, please uh, stop now and try to do this exercise by yourself. Okay, it says simplify the expression. I will do the same thing. For the top part, okay, I will do them simultaneously. So here, this I can write here 1. So multiply with x. Got this. And multiply this one with 1. So you will get nothing but same. So here you can get x over 1, so you multiply with x, so you will get x squared over x minus 1 over x. So this part here, you can, when you open, expand it, you will see it's x, per, x squared plus 3x minus 4 divided by x divided by x squared minus 1 divided by x. Now I can write this as x squared plus 3x minus 4 over x times x over x squared minus 1. Okay, I do. I can do some cancellation, but here uh, let me try to find a common factor, uh, the fact, uh, factor of this one. And uh, if you, uh, after some attempts, you can find this one as x plus 1 times x plus 4 times x minus 1 x divided by x times, and this is, uh, you can write it as x squared minus 1 squared, which gives us x minus 1 times x plus 1. And after these cancellations, you end up with x plus 4 divided by x plus 1. Okay, let's... Uh, look at this problem, this example. It says simplify the expression, and here is the expression. It's it's a complex fraction. Um, the first thing we have to do is we have to write the numerator as uh, a fraction in this form. Then write the denominator in this form. So then uh, we can do the division, and uh, it means we flip the second one and multiply it with the first one, and then look for the simplifications here. Anyway, <clears throat> let's do it. Now, the first thing here is 1 over x squared minus 1 over y squared is equal to... Okay, the, these are different, so... Um, I want to want find the common denominator, so the best thing I can do is multiply this y squared and to multiply this one with x squared. So then I will get common denominator. And this will give us, okay, since they are same now, I can <clears throat> combine them. So this is the first uh, term. 
So the numerator, now numerator is this, so this part is done. Now I will deal with this part. And they're not common, and they have nothing in common. So I multiply this one with y cubed and this one with x cubed. And I will multiply both numerator and denominator. I will end up with y cubed over x cubed y cubed and uh, x cubed over x cubed y cubed and it gives us y cubed plus x cubed divided by x cubed y cubed. Now I got this one now and the last thing is I will do this one. So From here, okay, I will do this. And equal to y squared minus x squared over x squared y squared times, uh, okay, this, this thing is equal to, let's say, times x cubed y cubed over x uh, y cubed plus x cubed. So now um, we will check for the simplification here. Okay, I want to make this one clear. This is equal to now this product here. Then we will try to do the simplification here. Let's do it. So for the simplification, uh, we need to factor this. These are, okay, we can simplify these terms. But also, I want to simplify, if possible, uh, these terms. Okay, this is the fa factorization of this one will be, no, sorry. This will be y minus x, this one. And x cubed, y cubed is there. And divide by x squared, y squared, and this is this one. Now I will, uh, Factor of the sum of the cubes, so it means y plus x times y squared xy plus y squared. Now, if I do okay, so here this is all product, so I can do some cancellation here. This one and this one and this one, it makes x, this one makes y. So now then there is no other factors to be cancelled, so I end up with this. So this is the final answer then. So I can say 1 over x squared minus 1 over y squared over 1 over x cubed plus 1 over y cubed is equal to this uh, fraction.